Parker Hannafin's expertise in material science and product design makes us the go-to problem solver for hydraulic equipment manufacturers. When it comes to today's demanding sealing applications, Parker's capabilities in material development and polyurethane formulation are unmatched, and we continue to invest in new technology to address tomorrow's sealing challenges. Let us show you how Parker's advances in polyurethane chemistry keep us ahead of the competition and take a look at the promising work of our research and development team at Parker's Engineered Polymer Systems Division. Thermoplastic polyurethanes, TPUs, have been an industry standard for dynamic sealing and hydraulic applications for the past 30 plus years. Today, design engineers have an array of commercially available polyurethane materials to choose from depending on performance expectations and application requirements. Thermoplastic polyurethanes share common characteristics, making this class of material a leading choice for high-pressure, dynamic sealing applications. Thermoplastic polyurethane materials are prepared by reacting three basic components, diols or polymeric polyols, diisocyanates, and chain extenders. Different combinations of these ingredients yield TPUs customized for specific performance requirements. Most TPUs in use today are polymerized with one of three diisocyanates, each yielding different performance characteristics. You can learn more about PPDI, MDI, and TODI base formulations at parker.com slash EPS slash polyurethane. See how performance characteristics differ for these diisocyanate formulations. The ability of a material to recover from deformation under dynamic load can be measured by calculating the tan delta, or ratio, of the material's storage modulus to loss modulus. In layman's terms, under dynamic load, a lower and flatter tan delta line is preferred because it means the material experiences less of an energy loss and recovers to a state closer to its original functionality. You can see from the chart that Parker's Resilon polyurethane excels in this important property. Heat resistance for materials that do not have a definitive melting point can be approximated by their VICAT softening point. Parker's Resilon polyurethane has the highest softening point which suggests superior high temperature seal performance as compared to other materials. In a lab study, we compared the heat resistance of Parker's Resilon polyurethane to competitors' high temperature polyurethanes. The results speak for themselves. Parker's Resilon polyurethane is the best performing high temperature polyurethane available. But we didn't stop there. Not once to rest on our laurels, Parker's material scientists have developed a new specialty formulation, Resilon Polyurethane 4350, with high temperature nanotechnology. While Parker's Resilon polyurethanes currently provide the broadest range of service temperatures on the market, minus 65 to plus 275 degrees Fahrenheit, our latest iteration in the Resilon family, Resilon 4350, withstands even hotter temperatures, up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, for extreme applications. Introducing Resilon Polyurethane 4350 with high temperature nanotechnology, the future of high temperature sealing. Take a look at Parker's lab test results, comparing Resilon 4350 to competitive polyurethane materials. Resilon 4350 delivers more sealing force at hotter temperatures to give you more design freedom, extended seal life, and overall peace of mind. Take a look at the data. Compression set resistance is an indication of a material's ability to retain its sealing force when exposed to high temperatures under pressure. The lower the compression set, the better. Not only does Resilon 4350 polyurethane take the least amount of set compared to other polyurethanes, but the rate at which it loses its sealing force at high temperatures is much slower. Resilon 4350 yields the greatest seal force retention at high temperatures. Seal force retention is a leading indicator of seal performance. The ability of a seal to function over time depends in part on how much sealing force the sealing material can retain. 
Comparison testing in Parker's lab shows that over the temperature range of most high-performance hydraulic applications, Resilon 4350 maintains significantly high sealing force. The curves in this chart can be used by a seal designer to compare materials in two ways. The graph shows that to maintain a given seal force, say 40%, Resilon 4350 can be exposed to a much hotter environment, 223 degrees Fahrenheit, compared to a leading competitor material at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Conversely, for a given application temperature, say 230 degrees Fahrenheit, Resilon 4350 retains 36% of its sealing force, compared to 22% for the leading competitor. Maintaining uptime is critical to any hydraulic system. In a head-to-head -head comparison at a constant 250 degrees Fahrenheit, Resilon 4350 lasted 33% longer than Resilon 4300 and 20% longer than the leading competitor before a leak was detected. More importantly, Resilon 4350's ability to retain sealing force minimized leaking as the test continued compared to the leading competitor which failed catastrophically. Whether your challenge is short-term, high temperature exposure, or longer seal life, Resilon 4350 can help you achieve your goals. When you work with Parker, you have access to the most advanced materials and cutting edge designs available. Call the material experts at Parker Hannafin to find out how we can help you solve your sealing challenges now and in the future.